what I'm going to do is kind of show you a little, some, some three or four really basic features of the editing uh, part of ScreenFlow, which make it so unique. If I want to say I want to zoom in on a particular part of the screen, all I have to do is select the track here, the video track, and I select Add Video Action, and it puts it down here. Then I go to the scale, and I can scale in, zoom in, and reposition on part of the screen that I want to focus in on. Now, when I go to play it back, you see it zooms in or pans in really nice and smooth there. And I can change the duration of that zoom, either shorter or longer. So we can go here to the beginning. See, it has a nice little slow uh, pan in as well. Now, where you add that video action, that means that this positioning and, and zooming in will remain there for the rest of the timeline unless you add another action. So if I pull this down a little bit here, and I want to add another video action, and then I want to maybe reposition to the other side of the screen, right here, and I'll go start it again. It zooms in. And it remains there and then on the second action it goes to the other side of the screen okay, another useful feature you can use is the call out action and you add the call out here and it puts it in the timeline and then you can use it to highlight different parts of the screen and one more basic feature you should know about is the ability to add uh, kind of annotations or titles or text to your document or to your screen um, cast you click on the text properties here and then you click on the add text box and it puts in the middle here and you can type in your text and you can um, you can select it and change the color if you like you click on the coloring here okay and you can also get rid of the backdrop if you like do that um, you can select it and move it around on the screen, you can resize it, that kind of thing. So really, it's really functional and really easy to use. And uh, you can also add other media uh, to your document. So you can bring in other videos or images and things of that sort and you can add them into the uh, media pane here and then add them into the timeline. So that's just three really basic, uh, useful ways to use ScreenFlow. There's a lot more to it. I just thought I would use this little video to kind of show you some of the basic features.